In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to use VI key bindings inside of Komodo. To enable VI, go to Komodo's Preferences, navigate to the Editor key binding category, and enable VI emulation. This will create a new key binding scheme, which you can give a name, and you're also able to customize the commands. For example, Control V, which matches the visual block mode in VI. I'm going to actually remove this command and then change it to use Control Shift V. This is because I actually like Control V to be the regular paste command. So I have VI enabled in Komodo. You can see that I have a block cursor and also there's a new text in the bottom left part of the Komodo status bar showing normal. This means that I'm in the normal VI mode. If I use the I key for insert, the text is updated accordingly. If I press escape, I'm back to normal mode. So Komodo supports all of the VI commands. For example, W is moving between words. DD is delete one line. U, undo. All these commands are supported. Now, if I use change word, CW, I can use the repeat key dot, which will do the same replacement for the current location, which is very handy if you do multiple updates. You can use the search feature using the forward slash. Type in your, your search term in the text box. You can use the N, next, shift N for previous. You can use multiple repetitions. So for example, I'm going to delete seven lines, seven DD. So that's supported. You can also use colon commands. So colon. So it's for error, replace with nothing. My current line, globally, no error found. Let's try again on the line that contains error. There we go, one replacement made. I can also do this globally, one comma dollar, which replaces all occurrences. Another one of my favorites is using the, the shell command. So if I use colon, exclamation, I can now run a shell command. For example, the ls command, and that's shown in the Komodo command output tab. Well, that's Komodo's VI key bindings. I hope you enjoyed the screencast, and I hope you get to use it.